Okay. Well, good morning. I think we'll uh, go ahead and get started. I just want to start by saying thank you to all of you for being here. Uh, today I am thrilled to have the opportunity to sign into a law a bill that transforms Iowa's broadband infrastructure into a powerful network that will enable fast, high quality connectivity equally across the entire state. Opening doors to new opportunities for our communities, large and small, and resulting in one of the most significant broadband build-outs in the entire country. I'm deeply grateful to everyone who has worked so hard to get this legislation passed, and I'm very proud to say that it passed unanimously in both chambers. From the moment that I proposed the legislation in, the, in my condition of the state until now, everyone from legislators to service providers and others have been committed to passing the best bill possible, which is exactly what they did. I want to extend a special thanks to our floor managers, Representative Sorensen and Senator Kelker, as well as Representative Losey and Senator Schultz. Also, a very special thank you to the providers and the associations who worked with legislators to deliver, really to help work on the opportunities that we believe that this bill will provide. The bill addresses a glaring need. As we talked about early on in the session, Iowa currently has the second sl slowest broadband speed in the country, and a third of our counties are in broadband deserts. In the 21st century, when access to high-speed internet is growing increasingly necessary for everyday life, from work to entertainment to health care, we needed to act, and I'm proud to tell Iowans we did just that. With my signature today, the state of Iowa's broadband infrastructure is about to reverse quickly and dramatically. Better health care, better public services, and better jobs are on their way to every corner of Iowa. I also want to thank legislators for their commitment to an historic $100 million investment in broadband and for leveraging the funds in a targeted and strategic manner. Using a tiered system, the investment will be, will be prioritized in areas of the state where the barriers to broadband installation are at their highest and internet, internet speeds are at their lowest. For areas of greatest need, the state will offer service providers funding of 75% for projects that increase download and upload speeds to 100 megabytes per second each. Meg megabits. For perspective, the least connected cities in Iowa don't even have an average internet speed of 10 megabits per second. In places where barriers prevent the installation of the infrastructure necessary to receive 100 up, 100 down, providers can take advantage of a 50% 50 st 50 state funding to increase download speeds to 100 megabits per second, upload speeds to 20. In any case, areas of the state with the least connectivity today will soon experience a significant improvement in high-speed internet and gain access to high-tech, high-touch services that come along with it. It's difficult to overstate how transformative this legislation will be for the state. If the pandemic has made anything clear, it's that things like telework, telehealth are not going to go away anytime soon. With high-speed internet, Iowans will be able to compete effectively for the ever-expanding pool of remote work opportunities and rural areas can attract professionals who might otherwise have relocated to different communities or different states. With high-speed internet, telehealth technology can connect rural medical professionals with the specialist in real time as they work to provide quality medical care to patients. Broadband also promises to make the streets safer, opening the possibility of deploying internet services in police cruisers, fire trucks, and ambulance. Education will benefit too as teachers will be able to use higher speeds to complement their work in the classroom with stream material and virtual connections. Iowa will be empowered to take full advantage of 21st century technology while competing on a level playing field in a 21st century economy. And Iowans shouldn't settle for anything less. And thanks to this bill, they won't have to. 
This type of progress is what's possible when regardless of party affiliation or which chamber legislators are elected to, leaders can come together to achieve common goals that are in the best interest of Iowans. Today I'm proud to sign the Universal Broadband Bill into law expanding access to high-speed internet that will improve how we live, work, and learn in every single corner of our state. And with that, we'll sign the bill.